Hey everybody, it's me Stephanie. I'm on the spin bike. I'm getting my exercise in while I make my video. I just feel like I have so much to say and update you guys on. And thank you so much for still sticking with me on this channel. Even though I have been horrible about posting. More on that later on in the video. So, I'm 24 and a half weeks pregnant. Doing my exercises. I do yoga pretty much every day and I walk or ride my spin bike in addition to that just to try to stay strong and also the main thing for me is just like exercise is a great way to lower your blood sugar especially while pregnant so if I sound out of breath I'm sorry but my husband is watching the kids so that I can exercise so you know busy moms they gotta multitask so I apologize that I have just been a ghost here on my channel um I really have struggled with what to do with my YouTube channel because when I started it in uh, 2014 2015 2015 um I had just come back to Weight Watchers. No, I had been at Weight Watchers for a year and I had just started doing low carb, high fat, really focusing on my thyroid health. And so I had eliminated wheat, which honestly, that way of eating, the no wheat and low carb, high fat and doing Weight Watchers points plus has honestly been the most successful at losing weight that I have been in like the last 10 years. I lost over 30 pounds, then I got pregnant. Um, then I had a baby and I was doing really well losing the weight and then a bunch of crap <laughs> happened. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just getting over a cold. Um, so much stress, we had an unexpected death in the family that was really sad and tragic. And then um, we ended up selling our house. We moved and this house that we love has become a huge fixer upper project. So um, I just have not been in like the super great groove for weight loss the last few years. Oh, and then I got pregnant again this summer on purpose. I'm 36 now. So I'm like, okay, the clock is ticking. Like my doctor said, you have your whole life to lose weight. You only got a couple more good years left of fertility. So I'm overweight and pregnant, trying to do my very best. And so that is why I'm like, Okay, when I started this channel, I was in such a great place. I had one child, things were really stable. Um, I was in a really good routine. I just had my baby and my husband and myself to take care of. And then as things have gotten more stressful, adding another child, a house that constantly has projects that we're working on, second child, and now I'm pregnant again. I'm like, my head has just, like it's totally for me understandable why the weight loss has, I wouldn't say that it hasn't been a priority because it will always be a priority and my health will always be a big priority, but I just haven't had the drive to focus on it in the way that I have to focus on it to lose weight. So here I am, I have this YouTube channel and I kind of took a break to see like, do I miss making videos? What do I want to make videos about? You know, when I first started, I, you know, had a few close friends that I feel like I'm still close friends with here on YouTube. That was kind of like my little buddy system, support system. Some of those friends have kind of, you know, faded off the internet. Some have, 
grown with their channels and have made really incredible strides in their weight loss journey. And I just feel like the focus of my life has not been weight loss for a really long time. Um, I've tried. If you guys have been with me from the beginning, you have watched me try and fail. You've watched me go through like a year of major relapsing with binging and then getting back on track with Weight Watchers again and wondering, you know, how I could make keto and or low carb work. And I was reading somewhere that most people who end up posting their weight loss stories, journeys, whatever, online have a less likely chance to succeed at losing weight. And I was like, well, that's really interesting. It's like once you start sharing it, it sometimes makes it harder for you to be successful. I don't remember where I read that. And I don't know if that is true or if it was just somebody's opinion. But I kind of feel like since I'm not being successful at losing weight, it's kind of like, why well, do I have a weight loss channel? That's what the channel started out as. So although I will get back to weight loss eventually, and I'm like 99.9% .9 sure this is my last baby. So after this baby comes, of course, losing weight, getting healthy is definitely at the top of my priority list. I want it so bad and I want it more than probably comes across in my videos. I crave it, I think about it. And so I've just kind of struggled like, well, what do I do in the meantime? You know, I love the subscribers that I have and the friends that I've made, but I just, my heart right now is in so many different places. And even like both times I've had a baby, it's taken me like a good eight to nine months to feel like I could even really focus on myself and weight loss and food and all that. And so I don't really plan to just like jump head first into a diet or a weight loss program after I have this baby. So, like I said, I took a break and I was thinking like, oh my gosh, like every day I have something that I want to make a video about. Every day I stop myself and I'm like, yeah, but that's not what your channel is. That's not how you got subscribers. That's not why people watch you, blah, 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 blah. And I tell myself all these negative messages. And so this is just my update that I'm sorry that I have not been somebody who has, you know, conquered their weight yet. And I've been posting my journey for years now. And I've had a lot of other really amazing and important things. Like, this is my second baby since I started this channel. Like, life has happened. And I'm definitely not apologizing for that. And, um, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm still doing the best I can. I'm on the bike right now. I loosely track my points. But as I mentioned in my last video, I'm not serious about any particular program because I have realized that no matter what program I do, keto, low carb, Weight Watchers, any program, weight loss surgery, I will never be successful if I cannot learn how to stop overeating. That hands down is my number one problem. Overeating, eating when I'm not hungry, not being in tune with my body. And so the last six months where I've been pregnant have been 
an incredible turning point for me where I really do feel like I'm getting way more in touch with myself and my appetite and my body and I'm very grateful for that. I really have not struggled with binging during this pregnancy except I remember one day, it was a stressful day after a stressful triggering conversation. Other than that, I feel like I'm free from it because I prefer to not feel overly stuffed. That is my preference. So I am learning how to not overdo it, but I'm not depriving myself and I'm not limiting myself and I'm not over restricting, which I think in the past for me has triggered binge cycles, totally has. That's just how it's been for me. So moving on, starting tomorrow, I am going to shift the content big time to my life as a busy mom who is trying to refinish her house. We're doing updating, remodeling, all on a tight budget. I'm super passionate about saving money, budgeting money, improving my spending habits, meal planning, grocery shopping. Um, I am not skilled at decorating home improvement. DIY is not my middle name, but this house has come so far and still has so far to go. And I have been documenting this journey and I've been too chicken to post any of the videos about it. Well, as of tomorrow, that will not be the case. So you will see some of the reveals of the projects that are almost, almost done. You will see the projects that are still in the works and I'm going to be taking you guys along that journey. Um, and I totally understand if that is not your jam, if you don't want to follow along. I understand if I lose subscribers as I make this change. But just know that I, I plan to really continue taking care of myself and my body through good nutrition, exercise, meditation, yoga, personal reflection, letting go, addiction recovery program, which is like the root of my problem with food addiction. And that will come, just not for like over a year. I'm due in March, and then by the time I kind of get my crap together, it'll be about a year from now, probably before I'm ready to like really dive into that. I don't want to quit my YouTube channel. I don't want to disappear. So I'm just going to have a shift in content for the next year or so. And I would love for you to join me in my life and that journey because I'm super excited about it. I'm so excited to show you what's been going on in our house. Can you see this paint? Can you see this paint? I painted the hall basement twice. Two coats, why did I just stop pedaling? <sighs> anyway, there's so many treasures in this old house. This house was built in 1938. It's technically a historic home. It has, some phenomenal quirks about it. But I really think that it's just like a gem that needed polished off, like the green carpet needed to be ripped out, the pink carpet needed to be ripped out, all of the wallpaper needed to be torn down. So, anyway, I will be showing you all of that. I hope you have a great weekend. Whatever's left of it, I'm gonna finish up on the bike. You guys want to see like a bump shot? I'm like 
chubs. And so I feel like it's taken me a long time to like have a proper baby bump. And even then, I don't know if you can see it, but um, this is this is where the baby bump is. I don't even know if you can see it, but um, yeah, I'm starting. I don't know, every time I've been pregnant, I show really high, even though I know the baby's down there. It's like, this is where everything starts coming out. Oh, you probably want to know how my pelvis is, right? Well, I've been doing my exercises and my stretches and I feel amazing. I can honestly tell you, I feel better than before I got pregnant. And I'm almost 25 weeks and I feel strong, I feel stable. I feel like sometimes I've been in a little bit of pain, but then I know how to like readjust my pelvis and the alignment. And I'm really excited to see how the third trimester goes because that is typically when my back goes out, sciatic nerve pain, my pelvis splits in half, my hips go crazy, and I have to use a walker. Sometimes a wheelchair if it's available. Um, actually, I don't think I ever used a wheelchair, like legitimately. But I definitely sat on my walker like it was a wheelchair. <sighs> but I'm doing great in that regard. Weight gain, according to my doctor, I've gained eight pounds so far this pregnancy. I think I've probably gained a little bit more. I was doing really well the first trimester. And then when I was gone during the major renovation, it was just like out of my element, some overeating, some stress eating but just mostly like eating out of the home. But I feel like this last month, I've pretty well maintained my weight. I have an appointment this week and I know I'm probably up another pound or two, but um, I feel like I've done a, a decent job with my weight this pregnancy. So I'm gonna wrap it up because it's almost 20 minutes into this video. I'm not gonna edit it fancy. There's probably not gonna be a fun thumbnail because mama just ain't got time for that, okay? And my future videos will be way more polished, way more put together, I promise. They won't all be me riding a bike in my basement, awkwardly, I promise. Okay, with that, thank you so much for watching and being a subscriber and a friend and a supporter, it means a lot to me. I'll see you tomorrow for my next video.